My name is uh, Marquise Walker. I go by the name Transporter for Gage Entertainment. That's my group. Gage stands for Grinding Above Greatness Every Day. Well, there's me, Transporter. I'm the DJ behind the scenes, kind of try to move things around, try to help everybody out. Um, then there's B Star, Hostile, Tim Keys, Jericho. I mean, there's a lot of us in the group. We uh, we have people from Las Vegas, people from Los Angeles, San Diego, Memphis, VA. So it's just a collective group of artists that want to try to expand our fan base across the country. I used to DJ for five years in Japan before I came into contact with uh, Gage Entertainment and you know that was my live coming out you know always trying to move the crowd stuff like that I love music <laughs> my first official coming out was uh, a couple months ago in Los Angeles and it was a fun experience it was something that I've never done in front of a big crowd for just all eyes on me and stuff so it was that was my first official, but pretty soon down the road, there will be more so. And my craft, my craft would be DJing. A friend of mine started me 10 years ago. He had two techniques and some speakers, and we went at it, and I just wanted to learn how to do it because it was cool. Everybody was out there, you know, scratching and making music move, and that's, that was one of the things that I wanted to do was make music and have people move and say my name like oh that's dj hands sporadic that's that's what he does and call my name hey you know can you come to my house party for me so it was one of those things i just had that movement towards music and i love music so i dj at bay hall in japan in tokyo japan for new year's and there was so many people and there was four djs a dj in that night and i got the first rep and then the other DJ, he got sick, so I got the last rip, and it was just bananas. There was so many people there. And after that show, people were like, yo, can you come do my show? Can you come do my club? Can you come do this? And I was all over Tokyo. It was just one of those things where my name got so big, people just wanted me everywhere, and that was one of those things that made me like, oh my God, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. You know, I want to be a DJ. I met Gage in the town. I was in the Navy, and we're all, pretty much all of us were in the military at one time, so I met B-Star through a mutual friend who was on my ship, and he had come to San Diego. I got eventually stationed here in San Diego, and then I met up with them and heard their CD, and was kind of like, wow, kind of like y'all music. And we all became friends and started hanging out. We're not friends anymore, it's more like we're a family, because I'm always with B-Star and Hostile or Tim Keys, and, we're like a family now, so like music to us is like, let's do it. My biggest goal is to be heard. Music as a whole, everyone has their idea on music and what they want music to sound like. And you see these industry cats, they're all about flashy cars. I like that, that look, but then again, there's music that needs to be heard. And I want to be able to put my spin on music with my group and make a mark out there. Even if I don't get famous, if I'm not Lil Wayne famous and Jay-Z famous, I at least want to walk around one day and somebody be like, hey, ain't you Transporter? Oh yeah, oh, I had your CD before, you know, and I liked y'all music, what happened to y'all, you know, and maybe just be like, you know, we, we didn't break up, but we just kind of fell off because everybody went to do whatever, but thank you for at least acknowledging that I was out there and I touched somebody else with my music or with our music. If I was to talk to somebody who's independent like us, is to just continue to do your music. Don't try to conform to anybody in the industry. Just continue to do your music because at the end of the day, your creativity is what's gonna get you to where you need to be. Don't let anybody change your creativity or you see somebody on TV that has skinny jeans on and bright colors and chains that hang down to their knees or whatever. Don't go from being that guy that everybody looked at that was conservative to being that guy that's like, oh my God, what's he doing? Now he's a skateboarder when he was really just a kid from, you know, the block that just had on some jeans and a t-shirt and was cool. Now he's out there doing whatever everybody else is doing, so don't conform. I just want to be able to, I would be able to tell him like, do you, make that song, make that hit to get to where you want to be. You can do a whole bunch of CDs and a whole bunch of this and a whole bunch of that that sounds like everybody else, but until you get your song with your creativity on it that makes you that person, like, 
wow, I like his sound. That's what's gonna build you up. So that's what that was, that's what I would leave with any artist, or any independent artist trying to come up. I think one of the biggest achievements that Gage has pretty much done was B Star had a show in Vegas at a with a record company out there, and it was pretty much like. We went out there with no fans at all in the group for us except for us. I think it was like four people. And when B Star rocked that show and they saw, you know, the four people that was there had the Gage Entertainment shirts on and they saw how we were so pumped up for him out there. It was just one of those things like the person that put the show on had to call us on stage. Like I have to let everybody see Gage Entertainment and how they rock and they rolled from San Diego all the way to Las Vegas to be here for the show and they were live so I think that was one of our greatest achievements because after that show when all the other artists were like yeah my CD's five bucks my CD's you know this or that we were like no it's free we just want to get our name out there people actually on our social media site Facebook was like wow saw you guys out there didn't know you guys had this much music you know that was cool and we started getting a following from people in Vegas and then people started shooting our music to other people and we got a, we got a big buzz, you know, from that show and now to continue to grind and get there, that's that's our motivation. So that, that was pretty much our biggest like, okay, let's get out there and let's get our buzz and that's a motivation for us.